the National Resistance Movement government's affirmative action that prioritized gender equity in education has over the years generated dividends. A case in point is at Mata Bonikon City Girls Vocational Secondary School in Isingiro that has equipped girls with employable skills that have improved household income. In as far as girl child education, we are so grateful to the government of Uganda because it has empowered us, it has enabled us to to even have a platform of training these girls. Now, for example, we have the student leaders. These run from the school and even to the districts and even to the national level through their association of students leaders. We thank the government for putting such platforms to enable our learners, to enable our students to, to be used of doing different, uh, different responsibilities. So we thank the government, we thank the NLM for supporting our child education. But amidst all that, Isingiro district still has prevalent early marriages and preference for boys ahead of girls in schools. There are parents who believe she, girls, girls should not go to school. And this is not good for sure. We are born, we are all born in the same process, born, we are all created by God, and we believe we are the same. But the, the notion of girls should not go to school, for sure it is not fair. Even the government of Uganda, they have embraced affirmative action mostly on women and realize that women are so good. They are, they are competent, they, are, they do the same roles as men.